Um, yes, sir. But it turns out that under our assumption of I'm just going out for one thing and coming back, you would never use that. I mean, in theory land. Uh, now I'm at at the top looking along. Remember the um, order picking area had a top sort of cross aisle across. So I'm kind of in the middle of the warehouse. The um, focal point of the warehouse is to the left here. That's another picture of the rack. All right, so that's the first facility. And the second one is Generac. Uh, they have been very gracious in allowing us to photograph their facility. And uh, again, offering to talk to people who might be interested in doing this. This was quite a different implementation. They had five scattered storage areas all over the country or something like this. And so actually, in, I should say this, in both cases, we were unable to do a before and after analysis. This one, because they had five facilities strewn all over, hey, let's build a central warehouse. So it was kind of really a, a greenfield, brand new idea. Let's do it right here. In the other case, the nature of the operation changed so much that really they were diddling with so many things. There was no way that we could have attributed any, any benefits to our layout. Uh, this beautiful photograph is one of the ones I did not take. Here you're standing at the bottom, the focal point of the layout. These are the um, diagonal aisles. This is all rack, as you see. These are generators inside. Uh, the warehouse has not been filled at this point. This was taken very early in the loadout. And you'll notice a very interesting, anybody see the very interesting part of this uh, photograph? Uh, yeah, that's one thing, even more interesting. Yeah, the column right in the middle, <laughs> it's exactly right. Yeah, in fact, this column is almost exactly at the center, center point of that, of the V. Uh, if I went back to the AutoCAD drawing, you would see it there as well. Um, this was a, a source of some laughter. You see it's well protected for reasons you can guess. Um, he said, if I had it to do over again, I would have paid the extra money to not have this here. Apparently, you can reinforce the ceiling and do away with one building column. That's apparently not too hard, but you do have to pay extra. He said, in retrospect, that would have been a good idea for this warehouse. Anyway, they're, they're living with that. Okay, this is looking to the right along that uh, vertical cross aisle or the um, diagonal aisle. That's a nice photograph. Again, I didn't take them, so I can say, uh, <laughs> and this is to the other side now. Now, there are lots of interesting things here. Um, you can get a sense for sort of workers coming out. And I want you to remember that thought because uh, I'll show you an interesting photograph here in a minute. Let's see, this is the bottom right area. This is just some of the floor staging that they had. I don't remember exactly what this area is for. It may be a, a oversized product or something. These look like very large units. I can't quite remember, to be honest. Again, this is sort of floor level looking uh, down the, the uh, diagonal aisle. Uh, this is on the other side. Again, these are sort of floor storage areas. Okay, this is, uh, you'll see the, okay, that is not a shoe scuff. <laughs> okay, those are fork tips that have touched, uh, just grazed the main column. Yeah, it's just a standard garden variety aisle. Okay, now this is, this is what you would look, be looking, actually you can see the, the skid marks uh, here. That's what you would be looking at as you came out of the aisle. Now, one thing from a safety point of view, as you're doing that, guess what? You've got a 135 degree look back to make sure it's clear. That's an issue, okay? Something to think about. Okay, so uh, let me go back here. Oh, it's not actually right there. All right, so imagine I'm coming around here. As you see this building column right here, there's another one kind of right here that I took a photograph. This is the base building column. And this welded plate right here. Anyone want to guess why that's there? Yeah. They had someone actually come around a little too fast. Miraculously, he was been hurt. Um, he basically skewered the column, went right through it, clean through it. So they um, welded a plate and, and painted it red in his honor. <laughs> yeah, right. A nice stick. Right. Now, this, interest, this is a really cool point. This is the 135 look, completely blind, except for the fact that the pallet, the product only comes this high, and he's got a window of about a foot and a half to look through. OK, 
Okay. No, that's uh, that's that's the second one. So actually, this would have another one here, but that would have gotten out into the space. So they did away with this, right? Because they'll be uneven there. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it looks curved, right? So that's a a visibility question that's got to be thought about. And this is another example of that. And this is as I'm coming this way, I would have to look in here. But again, I got that little slice. It turns out when I'm sitting on a forklift, that's right where my eyeballs are. So sort of. They just, uh, I don't want to say lucked out, but anyway, the good fortune of, of the product heights and forklift heights and all that gives them visibility that's not too bad. Okay, this is a, just another shot looking up the diagonal. This is that tunnel, the cut through. There's my colleague, Russ Meller. Uh, quite a bit narrow, uh, I would say, but that was their choice. Okay, and then that's it. So, let's see. All right, so that's really all I have, and I'm happy to entertain your questions. I guess you could probably bring the lights up if that's okay. Yes, sir. The uh, power capacity of the thing, uh, the length of it, whether it should be like the six gallon, or it's got a different thing in for a pallet so it stays in place? No, you lose about, um, in a fishbone, four to five percent. Yeah. Yeah, then it's going to be very close. You'll lose a little bit more, but yeah, be very close storage wise, density wise. Yeah. Yes, good question. Um, we highly recommend the use of hemispherical mirrors and all kinds of safety things. But again, it's sort of up to the management and how many people do you have in the space and all that kind of thing. That's certainly a way to get around the visibility questions. Other questions? Well, thank you. Yes. Thank you very much for prompting me there. Um, I have a lot of information on my website, which is kevingue.com. Uh, my last name is G U E, kevingue.com. Um, I have a, if you go into the research tab there, you'll see all kinds of things that I'm, I'm poking around in. There'll be a lot of the di diagrams you saw here. Um, and then I have, a, I have a research blog there if you do the RSS thing. Uh, please just sign up on RSS and I, I post a, a new entry about every two months so you will not get spammed. Um, but when I get a new paper out or a new development or result, you'll be the first to know about it because it goes up on that website. Uh, you can also email me at kevin.gu at auburn.edu. Um, and I'd be more than happy to talk to you about any uh, projects you've got going on. Good, thanks for coming.